Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming to my video. My name is Hannah Rose and today I'm going to be showing you the process of my latest painting. These are a few of the ones that I did before of the reference just to see if I liked it. And since I did those, I'd already set up my colors and palette. Although I struggled through the initial stages of this work, I enjoyed making it because even through my mistakes, I could see myself learning and growing. There are a lot of fails and mistakes in this piece, even from the beginning, but I wanted to share this with you as a way to show that failure and mistakes are not only inevitable, but also very important to growth. In all facets of life, we find ourselves trying our best, and most of the time, we are trying to do it by ourselves, which can make the process harder, but definitely not impossible. Here I'm wiping away part of the painting just because I didn't like how it was turning out. And that can happen a lot when we're making things, when we're creating, we just might have to start over. And that's okay. That's why fails and failures and mistakes are so crucial, especially if we're learning on our own. They are teachers and they give us the feedback we need to expand our skills and knowledge. Here in the beginning phase of my laying down values of darks and lights, I was a bit too excited about starting that after the underpainting was finished, I went straight for coloring without really paying attention to the darkest value and setup. I didn't set my foundation for my values at the beginning and you can see me throughout the whole piece continuously chat up on making my darks darker and more like the reference picture I used. If I had started out with a stronger foundation this painting probably would not have taken me as long as it did and I probably could have finished with less rendering than I had actually ended up with one thing that I want to learn from this piece is how to loosen up and to really bring out more um, brush strokes because that's where the life is or it's at least where I believe life is in a painting. As an artist, and most definitely a perfectionist, I've struggled with the pursuit of going through with a piece, if at first it looks like it won't work out. I feel that at the beginning of this one, definitely, as the beginning block ends were, as you can see, not a sight for sore eyes. However, by pushing to overlook the initial disappointment that it seemed to be becoming, I was able to finish a piece I really liked and want to share with others. Trust the process is a phrase that has been popping up a lot nowadays. And because of the popularity of the saying, it almost feels cliche now to bring it up. But at its essence, it is the truth. Whether we are making art, being creative, building a business, strengthening relationships, trusting the process of hard work and diligence does in fact bring the outcomes we want and desire. I don't mean to say we should always want to fail, but instead accept failure as part of truly becoming better. As I started using more conscious brush strokes, I realized that when you're painting something, you don't have to necessarily get every moment right. And there's almost a freedom in knowing that if I try my hardest, I will learn something. And that is okay if it doesn't come out perfectly. In fact, that shows a story, a story of my growth and my learning. I realized that the foundation I had set hadn't been good, but because I had kept going, because I wasn't succumbing to the disappointment of failure, I was getting to somewhere that I actually enjoyed and somewhere I really wanted to continue working on the piece. 
I personally find sometimes that when I fail, I chastise myself or shut down and don't continue even though I want better results. And through time, I've been working on seeing mistakes or failures as something that gives rather than takes away. Don't be overcome if failure arises and takes over you. Instead, find some way to listen to the failure and see why it's there and why it happened. I promise you, that will give you something to build from. And in fact, the knowledge you gain from failure will most likely stick longer in your heart and your head than if you did something absolutely perfect from beginning to end. I also think failure is highly human and quite a part of the experience of life. So much so that if we deny it or shy away from it, I feel like we are denying a part of being human. Humans are so creative and curious and inventive and even more so through the lens of mistakes. Think about how scientists raise a hypothesis and test an experiment to see if it works. And if it doesn't, or they miscalculated, they might be disappointed, but they all in all use that for the benefit of research and discovery. When we find ourselves on the threshold of failure or mistakes, we feel like we can't do something better than what we have just failed at. But instead we can look at those failures and see, wow, I am human and I will find something out of this that will enrich me. And if you can look at it through that perspective, I believe that you can build on that and continuously work on it. And therefore, through that hard work of even just recognizing a mistake or a failure, you can start to grow in your own self-confidence and worth and your work, whatever it may be, for me, it's art. For you, it might be building a chess team. <laughs> but whatever we do, when we accept that failure is part of it, when we accept that not only will we embark on this hard journey of hard work, but also it might not work out how we want. Once we accept that, there's freedom in the growth that comes from it and letting go and saying, you know what? The outcome will be good no matter what happens because I will make it good. And the confidence that that can bring, I think is what makes being human that much more fun. And I hope whoever you are, whoever's watching this, finds comfort in the fact that we all do fail and we all have mistakes because again, that's what being human is like. And in fact, the people that we see online, in our life, that seem to have everything put together and wonderful, they're just as human as you are. And they in fact have made a lot of mistakes. What they do though, is they use those mistakes and they push themselves and they, they don't shy away from it. We can be successful in our minds, in our lives, and in every aspect if we understand that failure is our teacher and we should be thankful for those moments where we can sit back and say, what went wrong and how can I do it better next time? Ah, yes, I did it this way this time, but maybe I should try it next time this way. And I hope that this gives you strength in everything that you're doing in your life, whether it's school or work, your friendships, your creative work if you're an artist and hopefully through more people realizing that it's okay to fail and it's okay to make mistakes and we'll grow through it maybe the world will just slightly become more whole and more creative and people will push themselves past the debilitating line of failure Thank you so much for listening to my <laughs> thoughts on this. I'll leave you alone with the rest of the video as I um, just finish up the painting. I'll probably come back in a little while to say a few last words, but please enjoy the rest.
Thank you so much for watching the process of my painting. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a good day and that you find peace. I'll see you later.